evening, good evening, good evening, y'all. Oh my god, I busted into Missouri. Good evening, good evening, good evening, everyone. I guess my dad's gonna rise from the grave and kill me. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels. We're going back to that horrible world, of course, known as the JRC, but before we do, the usual disclaimers. Now! In the description box, you're going to find a link to the article the JRC doesn't want you to read. It is written by Neuroclastic, a small non profit started by Autistics for Autistics, wherein they did go ahead and interview over 900 ABA professionals in regards to the JRC's quote-unquote behavioral treatment program. Matter of fact, they don't want you to read this article so much. They threatened Neuroclastic with a defamation lawsuit if they did not remove it from the website. Neuroclastic has refused, and please ignore the microwave. So, you know the drill. Please share it. All the social media, alright? We also have their public statement in regards to the defamation lawsuit threat, as well as their GoFundMe. Please go to it if you got anything. If not, share on all your social media. Also included is the Agape Boarding School links. Agape Boarding School is a Christian-themed boarding school for quote-unquote troubled teen boys based out of Stockton, Missouri on a ranch. They have pending against them right now 19 lawsuits alleging everything from child exploitation to abuse to sexual abuse to starvation. So please go to the other links. Don't forget to also check out their change.org shut agape boarding school down petition. Also, if you do come across anything where Agape says anything in defense of themselves, please link me in the comments. We also got the other pertinent links to the Stop the Shocks campaign, including Autistic Hoya's massive archive on the subject, the tip plates, excuse me, and the ever-present self-explanatory change.org shut the Judge Rotenberg Center down petition. When we discuss JRC, folks, you're going to hear vivid descriptions of and catch clips of surveillance footage of people with disabilities being tortured and abused. If you do got young children present, please use your headphones. And also, it is 442. I've been running around like a mad idiot for the last few minutes since I got off the phone. I'm excited because I finally managed to close at 45% for the entirety of the day, just shy below 50%. So, little sight, little brain dead. That took a monumental amount of effort. I am not, by a large, a decent salesperson. So, hopefully, this will help me a little more get the hell out of the cells and get into customer service until I, so I don't lose what's left of my sanity. Obviously, I may stumble over my words. Apologies in advance. We curse on this channel, folks. I was riven, raised by truck drivers and veterans. Deal with it. And that will be your only warning, because you're about to hear a lot of F-bombs. Yeah, a lot. I live in a permanent state of what the actual fuck when I go through these documents. Okay, so 119, when we left off yesterday... Oh, no, 120, sorry. There was no evidence of social skills instruction or use of curriculum or instruction to teach alternatives to aggressive behaviors. When asked about their social skills curriculum, JRC staff described opportunities to socialize and opportunities for recreational trips. Again, they have to earn the right to socialize, which flies in the of every single autistic program I have ever come across, either good or bad. The whole fucking idea is to get us to socialize with the rest of society. That's the whole goddamn point. To get along out there in the world without having a meltdown because people, noises, bullshit. JRC is about to tell you. 
Well, our teachers and staff is not socializing, especially not for a teenage student. None of the staff mentioned any of the published social skills curriculum that are in common use for the treatment of children with autism spectrum disorders. Thank you. And curricular for teaching pro-social and anger management strategies. Also, thank you. For students with autism and students with diagnoses that represent social difficulties, oppositional defiant disorder, conduct disorder, there was no evidence of teaching students positive social ways to communicate or of teaching or programming for social skills during observation periods. The complete lack of organized instructional social interaction periods and reinforcement for positive social interactions also prevented developing time with other children as a reinforcing activity. Exactly. See, that's socialization. When you are socializing and communicating with your peers. This is a particularly glaring omission in programming when contemplating transition to a less restrictive school or adult settings where positive social play and interaction with other children and adults are necessary for success. Now, remember folks, they were talking about this in the way the JRC goes about it. They told you, but we have them interact with us and say full sentences when it doesn't really reflect popular speech. You want to know the kind of speech that the JRC teaches, what it does? It makes us more fucking ostracized and weird looking than we already do. Like, we don't need help in that department, alright? Like, please. So let's read their bullshit excuse, shall we? This is false. It's not true. JRC teaches its autistic students how to communicate their needs appropriately with the use of the pictorial menu on their computers and learning how to use photo card exchange system. It's not fucking good enough, JRC. Are you not listening? You're teaching them how to communicate with you and its basic fucking needs. You are not teaching them how to socialize with the outside fucking world. That is a place to start, not the end-all be-all. Most places will start with something that they just described right here. But it's a starting point. It's not the end of it all. Not to mention, but, but they use the computers. Why the hell don't they have an assistive device? Even inside my broke ass school, and we're talking the fucking 90s where special ed got basically nothing and shit. Even they had the rudimentary assistive communication devices. You're making them point to a gigantic computer in front of them. How is that going to translate later when I don't have a computer in front of them? Hmm? Explain that, Karen. Oh yeah, that's right. They'll get frustrated and have a behavior and you'll punish them for it, won't you? A significant part of JRC's instruction in social skills and anger management is carried out through JRC's programmed opportunity systems, which are described in detail in Exhibit 1, which are garbage, JRC. See, you can't say you're teaching them social skills when they have to fucking earn the right to participate in social activities. It makes no goddamn sense. None. But if they have good behavior, they'll get to go on social outings. Let me tell you something about autistics. We don't want to fucking go on social activities. You think my ass as a kid wanted to go deal with those kids who were bullying me every day? Fuck no. I didn't want to talk to him. What I wanted to do was go sit on that nice green hill over there in the sun and fucking read and be left the hell alone. You think I would have fought really hard to be able to socialize on a field trip? 
Back then, folks, I would have rather been shot. I would have literally rather had been shot. Just being honest here. They create their programs based off of what they think neurotypical kids would do and work towards in order to earn. These kids aren't neurotypical, JRC. We have atypical mindsets. Using socialization trips and parties is not an incentive to me. You want to know what a fucking incentive is? A nice long vacation in a wood cabin out in the middle of fucking nowhere, maybe with a waterfall, and a large, large library that's well stocked. Or maybe similar thing, but a beach house out by the ocean with a large library that is very, very stocked. Where I have to interact with as little demeaning, condescending, ableist bullshit and people as humanly possible. That is something I would work for. That is what we would call a reward. As a child, my idea of a reward would be me being left alone to read. Literally anywhere. Literally anywhere because nobody ever left me the fuck alone in school. Ever. I was either bullied or I had teachers talking to my mom about she just doesn't fit in with the other kids. Gee, I wonder why, Karen. Thank God when I hit middle school is all I'm saying. Just, just, just saying. Ugh. But let's go forward here with these people who think they know us better than we actually know ourselves. <sighs> okay, social skills are also taught through the teaching of cooperative behavior towards teachers through behavioral counseling conducted on an individual basis with each student by JRC's clinicians. And the true skills that all students learn through JRC's behavioral modification program. You mean your torture project? Yeah, I got you, Karen. Remember the fact, folks, if you go over Jennifer Masamba's information again, that they have to earn the right to see the counselor. So tell me, what good is your counseling services if due to behaviors, the kid's not allowed to access them? That's a lie on its face of it because you have these programs, but every single program that's going to work to their good and betterment, you make them have to earn. Where others just have it built into the system. JRC has an extensive set of rules of social conduct of its students and teaches its students how to follow these rules. Yeah, we know about your fucking rules and your garbage way of telling people how to talk. Nobody talks like that in the real world. Do you know they actually get consequences if when asked their name, they don't say it in a full sentence? Yeah, nobody does that in the real world, JRC. What's your name, Tiffany? JRC wants you to respond. Oh, hi, my name is Tiffany Daniels. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. It's not how language is used in the real world. It's stunted and it's insane. And JRC deliberately, I noticed, doesn't include the detailing that we got in the New York report, where it goes into detail as to how deficit their social skills teaching actually is. 
And that's in Autistic Hoya's massive archive, folks, if you want to look up that New York report, and we have videos on it. JRC's program has been very successful and uh, very successful and has resulted in many of its students learning how to function in a classroom at work settings without engaging in violent and other problematic behaviors. Here we go again. All you care about is the behaviors. You don't give a shit if these people are actually successful living fulfilling lives with friends and family in the real world. All you care about is that you're not having the behaviors that make you embarrassed. Let's call it what it is, shall we? But you won't comply. No, I will not fucking comply. I have never been that girl. If you're trying to get me to follow some bullshit that, that makes no logical, coherent sense, I'm going to tell you where to go and how to get there. Most autistics I have met are the exact same way. They don't want to help us get on in the real world. They want to control us. They want to create a controllable person who is stamped down to the point that they can be controlled by anyone. It sets up for lifelong fucking victimhood. And I'm talking the legit kind, not the AH. I don't even know what the hell that is, but it's not real victimhood. You know where I'm going with this. On that note, folks, I'm going to close out. We don't get very many views on this channel, especially on this subject. The few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. So please hit that like button, folks. Hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the comments. And make sure you are still subscribed. YouTube has this thing where it likes to flush my channel every so often, and all of a sudden I lose a bunch of you. So please double check, okay? I do thank you for your time this evening, and as always, we here at Smelling Tea hope you have a good one.